Good morning, everyone. This is Sudarshan Reddy, Assistant Professor in Department of Chemistry, Palamur University. Today, I will discuss some fundamental concepts in organic synthesis. In connection with fundamental concepts, today I am going to highlight the protecting groups, the applications, usage, and how under which conditions these protecting groups are helpful in organic synthesis. Okay. From the protecting groups, what are protecting groups? Protecting groups is a strategy of converting a more reactive functional group into a less reactive functional group with which we try to protect that functional group from the attack of a selective reagent. This strategy is what we call protection of certain functional group from the attack of a certain reagent. And how far this protection strategy is helpful in organic synthesis that I would like to explain today. To understand this in clear, that means how protective groups are helpful in organic synthesis. To understand this, we need to know some examples. With the example, I will clear how protecting groups are helpful in organic synthesis. I think everyone knows the structure of ethyl acetoacetate. Ethyl acetoacetate. In short, we can write it as E A A ethyl acetoacetate. In this molecule, we have two functional groups. One is ketone, another one is ester. Both are the functional groups which can be reduced with reducing agents to give alcohols. Now, if you are applying reducing agents on this molecule, let us see what are the possible products you are getting from this molecule. Now, I told you already there are two functional groups, one is keto, another one is ester. If you are using strong reducing agent, if you are using strong reducing agent, then both ketone and ester gets reduced and you will get diode. This is the diode which you are getting from the reduction of ketone and ester. In the next case, if you are using a moderate reducing agent, then the ketone and ester, the more reactive functional group is ketone that gets reduced, you will get this product where only ketone gets reduced into alcohol and ester is unaffected. This with the usage of moderate reducing acids. Okay, this is clear. This we can get. Okay, with the normal using normal reagents. If you are using moderate reducing agent, you get this product. If you are using strong reducing agent, you get the first product. Suppose if my choice of interest from this molecule is this molecule, the third one. Where you can observe ester functional group got reduced into alcohol and ketone functional group is unaffected. How this is possible? That means the more reactive ketonic functional group is retained in the product and the less reactive ester functional group got reduced in the product. How this is possible and how to achieve this product? This is what my question. To get this product, what type of strategy you have to follow in organic synthesis? Okay. So, we can observe from the product and the reactant that the more reactive ketonic function group is unaffected in the product and the less reactive ester function group got reduced. 
to get this one what we have to do now comes the protecting groups here we have to convert the more reactive functional group into another functional group which is less reactive than the ester then what happens the applied reagent will reduce the ester functional group and then at the end if you remove that functional group then you can retain this molecule let us see how we can get this product from this reactant ethyl ester state by using protecting groups at the first instant if you are using protection strategy on this molecule where the more reactive functional group we are protecting suppose this we are masking here protection means masking the reactivity stopping the reactivity so we are masking or converting into a different functional group in which we are adding a protecting group thereby this more reactive this more reactive ketonic functional group got protected okay here we call it as we can also call this as masking now on this molecule if you are applying a reducing agent then comparatively more reactive ester functional group gets reduced now and converts into alcohol in the next stage if you want to return back into this product that means the ketonic group we have to retain now, now if you go for deep reduction deep reduction in sense you are unmasking previously you have masked the reactivity of certain functional group in the deep reduction you are unmasking you are removing that protecting group thereby this protecting group is removed and you are getting the original functional group that is ketone is retained okay. now you can get the selective product in this case that means from the product less reactive ester got reduced and the more reactive ketonic functional group is retained so to get this selective product what we have done we have gone for protection in the first step more reactive functional group then you got reduction of the less reactive ester functional group then you have retained the original more reactive ketonic functional group by deep reduction strategy thank you